you recognize that your confidence level is not at par with what the experts might say. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Either for or against evolution, I guess the, the ones in that field. So, like, if I were to go to a university and interview all the evolutionary biologists and I said, what's your confidence level? They might be, you think it would be higher? Why do you think that is? <laughs> Maybe? Maybe not? She's all into it. You're like, ah, I don't know about this guy. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Good. Um, so, my name is Eddie, by the way. What's your name? Orlando. Orlando? Kathia. Kathia. Not just Kathy, but yeah, Kathia. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Kathia. Kathia. And Orlando. I went to Orlando, Florida once. Oh, uh, yeah. That was pretty nice. That a lot. <laughs> uh, my name is, yeah, I don't think I've already said it. My name is Eddie. Uh, so, what I do is have um, short conversations with random people, uh, time it for about 10 minutes, and uh, it can be a little tricky with two people sometimes because um, I'll be asking some very like specific questions to uh, your answers, so it might get a little weird, but hopefully we can work it out. Um, so, are you guys okay if I record it? Yeah? Okay. Cool. Um, so I ask people to pick a belief that they really think is true and what I do is I ask questions to understand what they believe, why they believe it, and how they came to know that it's true. Um, and a lot of times when I ask you to pick it, it's very interesting, especially if it's something that you are very confident in. And let's say, for example, you woke up tomorrow Without that belief, it might change your actions. So it's significant in, your, in some way. So those are the type of conversations that tend to be more interesting. Um, and a lot of times people will leave with a better understanding of uh, why they believe it and maybe have a little more um, questions in their head based off of the conversation. Sometimes people like to have a second interview. So uh, it all just depends. So do you guys want me to... Um, give you some examples of typical conversation topics or do you guys have something in mind like no maybe <laughs> no, examples would be funny yeah. okay so uh typical conversations would be like i believe karma is real and happening i believe my horoscope predicts uh my day um i i believe you know it can be political like i believe climate change is real, I believe in the theory of evolution, I believe black lives matter, anything. Uh, I believe prayer works, I believe in a god, I believe, uh, I talked to a guy about aliens. Um, just whatever topic you find interesting and you um, are confident in. <laughs> I mean, we could talk about evolution. Evolution? Okay, we could do that. All right, so in the sense of the topic, do you think it's, you know, accurate, not accurate? I think uh, there's parts that could be true. Okay. Um, so if we were to say... If we took the claim, evolution is uh, accurate. The theory of evolution is accurate. Where would you be on your confidence scale? Uh, what I mean by that is like zero to 100, how confident are you are that that is true? I think it's like a 60. 60%, okay. All right. So what what's the main reason you're at that 60% mark? I think it makes sense that's why i'm at 60 percent but that 40 okay. percent is missing because it seems too crazy for it to have like begun like that i feel like there was something else that began and then that process started ah okay so you're saying 
But you're on board with the process, yes. but not necessarily the um, the beginning part. Yes. Okay. Um, so, if like let's say you left this conversation, you did research, and you were like, "Wow, okay, uh, I think I understand what the beginning is," or it's you know they have this answer or something like that. Would that increase your confidence? Yes. Okay. I don't think so. <laughs> what would increase your confidence? That's true. That evolution is true. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it would be research, but maybe like new um, theories. New, not necessarily theories, but new evidence, new proof. Okay. So, like, what evidence would you find compelling? to get you like to 80 percent mm. the yeah there's a lot of missing links from like how it all started and... so if you were like uh went home did research went to a museum or something like that and you discovered um that there are no missing links like let's hypothetically if that oh, if that okay. happened would you be like oh okay yeah yeah that would get you up there yeah okay what would um, make you less confident? What would get you to like the 20% range so you're not even sure this, this is even true? Evidence that contradicts the already established. Okay. What evidence would that look, what, what would that look like? Maybe where uh, species that evolved or we thought have evolved from different species could be discovered to have existed um, like at the same time period. Ah, okay. So like if we thought that try to think of a good example. If we thought that um, Homo sapiens were uh, that came from previous ancestors like Homo erectus, Homo, you know, habilis, stuff like that. Um, if we were to discover that Homo sapiens were right next there with them, that would cause an issue. Yeah, like discrepancy. Or like, if, let's say we found uh, a fossil of ho uh, Homo sapien with dinosaurs, right, that right. strata. Would that be something that might cause issues? I think so. Okay. Interesting. So, would you say that you have a, a pretty good understanding of the the available evidence and what the experts in the field um, are saying. Not entirely. So, do you think that you would have a higher or lower confidence if you? Everything. No, if, if you went with the experts. So if the experts say this, do you think you, you would be more confident or less confident if you went with what the experts had to say? I think I would be a little more confident. Okay. And the reason why I'm asking that, I guess, is you, you recognize that your confidence level is not at par with what the experts might say. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Either for or against evolution, I guess the, the ones in that field. So, like, if I were to go to a university and interview all the evolutionary biologists and I said, what's your confidence level? They might be, you think it would be higher? Why do you think that is? I think, 
it has to do a lot with like their belief and their passion. Like oh, they chose, okay. Yeah, they chose to study um, evolutionary biology because they had belief in it, and that's what you know. Sometimes people believe what they want to believe. Mm. So, like bias. Okay, so like because this is their field, um, if they found something that would contradict the theory, they would um, lose their job or they would have, there would be some, some negative impact right. if they, you know, confirmed or, you know, had, had an issue with the theory. You think that's probably, that's what the case is? Right. Yes. It's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Uh, now, what do you think your biases are? Do you have any biases in, like, would you, like, if you woke up tomorrow and the theory of evolution was completely confirmed or something like that, and overwhelming evidence, would, um, would you be okay with that? Would you want to know that? Or it wouldn't be... I think it'd be it'd be really cool to find that out, but it would be a little, I guess, devastating, sad if like someone was really into religion. Oh, okay, so it caused conflict within that. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Cool. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Have a good day, man. I'm sorry? Eddie. Eddie, yeah. I got a card if you guys ever wanted to reach out. Um, sometimes people like to do second interviews or just have a question or anything like that. Have a good day.